Ladies and gentlemen, few quick tips on the bullions, the new currency in season 4 of Dragonflight, how to obtain them, how to use them and when to use them in the following few steps. Like it or not, the bullions drop from the raid. As you kill a raid boss, it's not a 100% drop chance, but if you do the whole raid, you should get what you want. You might get lucky, as I did, and get it from the first boss that you kill, but some people had to wait from one of the final bosses to get theirs in the first week. Now if you're not a fan of raiding, there are some good news actually. The bullions drop from every difficulty, which means that you can go to the raid finder and just queue up there, do a quick run, get what you need and get out. All the raids are currently open in the LFR, so you can easily queue up from the LFR too. But there are also a lot of bug groups in the beginning of the season that are doing normal, heroic, etc. So you should have no problem getting into the raid whatsoever. Once you obtain the bullions, you can go to the east of Odraken to find the vendors in a building there. You can see the location right now, I'm scrolling it on my map. Once you're inside, you will find three NPCs which are selling gear from the three raids that we already had in Dragonflight. The big dragon is selling stuff from a Mirdrasil, which was the latest raid and everything in there, all the trinkets, all the weapons, they have the price of two bullions. The second NPC on the right sells gear from the Aberas raid, which was the season 2 raid. Again, all items of interest, even the rare Neltarian trinkets that I've never seen drop when that raid was actually active. And the small dragon on the right is selling gear from the Vault of the Incarnate raid, including trinkets like the Grief Torch and the rings with special effects. In my previous video, I did not explain correctly how the drop rates of the bullions work, so let's fix this now. You basically get one bullion to drop for you every week, and since all the items cost 2 bullions each, that means that the first week you're not getting anything, but then the second week, once you get your second bullion, you can go and buy something from the vendors. The good news is, there is a catch-up mechanic, if you miss a week and if you skip a bullion, you can get it on the next week. So don't feel pressured to play all of your odds during the first week, they can catch up later, and if you're not into raiding, you can actually raid every other week to get two bullions straight away and get your items from the vendors. And the last advice that I can give you is, use the currency and buy items, there's no usage of the bullions if they stay in your bags. And when it comes to the question, what should you buy with them, first you need to do a little bit of research and find the best in slot items for your character and spec. And after that, simply be strategic, in the sense, for example, let's say you have two crappy trinkets already that you managed to upgrade for Mythic Plus, but you don't have a weapon, then maybe you should invest your bullions into a weapon first and then leave the trinkets for later on. The other strategy that you can adopt is, let's say you want to buy a Whispering Icon and you know that this week the Vault is the active raid, which is the raid that drops that trinket. You can potentially go and kill the bosses and see if that trinket actually drops for you and you get lucky and if it doesn't then you can go and spend the bullions. If it drops you can simply go and buy the next item on your list and make even better use of that currency. That's all the tips that I have for you right now, thank you very much for watching, sorry for the hiccup with the previous video, I'll see you in the next one, now get out of here.